Hi there and welcome back friends of a thoughtful gaming experience. Um, welcome to another Wizardry 8 character creation tutorial. Uh, this time it's going to be about making a mighty lord for your party. A lord is more of an unusual character to take. It's not like a standard character, it's like uh, the male Valkyrie, if you'd say so. It's um, let's take the Lord here. Um, you see his attributes: they are strength, piety, vitality, dexterity, and speed. And uh, yeah, that's basically what what are the best attributes. And uh, what the Lord is doing is he's delivering good melee damage course he's delivering good tanking with his health regeneration and he can also take uh, items that have an HP drain without any problem so that's one of the good things about the Lord and he's also a good buffer healer and curer with his relatively high piety he has enough spell points for good divinity spells but not the offensive ones against the opponents still only the cures, the buffs, the heals. So he can be a second grade healer, you can also skill him for to be a first grade healer, but this time to make him truly mighty, we're going to um, make him a melee combatant for most. So he'll be good at melee, he'll be good at tanking, he'll be okay as a support caster, and he'll be absolutely okay as a buffer throughout the whole game. So, second thing is, uh, now you know what the Lord is good for. What race should you choose? I would prefer um, three races with the Lord. There's first standard Dwarf Lord, it's, which is very good for tanking dwarf and damage resistance gives like 10% of damage reduction uh, this is very very good and uh, yeah the dwarf also has you can see a lot of bonus points for the lord and um, yeah he has basically the perfect set of attributes even if the dwarf doesn't have like that high uh, attributes in general. He has very good attributes for a lord. And the uh, next choice would be like the Ravulf, like it's these dogs, hounds, whatever you call them, also have a very good setup of values for a melee based lord. They have higher senses than the Dwarf, which will help with, in, with initiative, which is always good for a caster, in S, yeah, especially, but also for melee competence. And senses also helps with ranged damage if you put a, put a bow into the Lord's hands, which you should really, either a bow or a modern weapon even, but I would go for a bow, because there are so many good bows then. The Ravulf is a better choice even than the Dwarf, but that would be more offensive and would not be taking advantage of the natural tanking of the Lord. The Lord has yeah, access to many armors, so a tanking and melee damage Lord like a Dwarven Lord would be very good. But yeah, the Lord can take so much that a Ravulf is also a good choice. As a third choice, I would tend to a dragon. A dragon has breathe acid, which is not like that good, but it's an opportunity to deal massive um, damage to area-based encounters, and it's especially good in the beginning, and the, a lord does get a lot of stamina, so that will be good. He also has okay resistances still, and yeah, you'll be perfectly well with a dragon who has a very good um, set of uh, attributes here. 
except senses like the dwarf he has a weakness in senses but yeah my favorite after all is the dwarf so we'll go for it dwarf for the next section we'll take a male dwarf now you can perfectly take a female lady um, but we'll go for the males to make a contrast to the Valkyrie here and what would you take for attribute choice uh, the Lord has dual weapons skill and you want to if you want to use that much you should go for dexterity and strength which gives you maximum plus to hit Bernie and I would go for speed as well as the casting of the Lord is good if done quicker also speed um, raises your number of attacks you can see number of swings per attack and the number of attacks per turn and in the initiative and yeah so uh, what would be my attribute choice it would definitely be if you are more on the melee side and don't care if you're a little bit later you should go for strength and dexterity first otherwise you should go for strength and speed if you really like to have um, the spells earlier and yeah the general attributes to take with the Lord you already have high enough piety you should take strength dexterity and speed first in like any combination just choose to max these out and then go for the next one and vitality as the last thing you should raise because vitality you you will have enough hit, hit points as a lord but at the maximum levels these hit points start to matter and then you could take vitality to make him even more tankier so what skills would you take um, i would always like take dual weapons this is a natural strength of a lord even though at about 80 it is maxed out this is due to um, wizardry 8 not being fully patched like the dual weapons can reach 100 but it can also reach like with this bonus it can reach 125 but um, dual weapons um, removes negative modifiers and at 100 the negative modifiers are away at 125 of that skill you don't get any positive modifiers so at 100 you're basically maxed this means you get a 25 percent bonus then at 80 you'll have the maximum bonus with a lord on dual weapons we're going for the traditional dual weapons lord here and you have two possibilities here you uh, could take like a sword swords are the best weapons in the game so you should really take the sword for the best choice and the dagger for offhand because they are very good daggers now when you reach level 5 you get spells right and you should always raise your divinity your school and you should probably leave dual weapons be it can raise for itself well yeah so from then on raise your two favorite weapons and the divinity skill for now as i said you have the choice between sword dagger you can also go for the offhand with a wand and staff there are good choices for that as well so you'd go in sword and staff or you can go perfectly well with a mace and a staff this would help you for a lord for a more controlling the combat because there are many staffs and maces who have effects like ko or paralyze that would be your option you can also go for an axe and a dagger if you like very high damage but really the damage choice in general is a sword and the dagger and we're going to go for just that so there you have our lord maybe let's take someone with a <laughs> 
with not such a wild um, face because yeah he's a lord he's a noble he would have no such wild hair and now we have our dwarven lord and how should you play him well the lord is a is a hybrid character so as i said he can fill the role of a divine buffer and curer he'll be a good and tough fighter he should cast spells as often as even remotely sensible to bring his skills up in the spells from level five on and um, you shouldn't really go for the offensive spells you should rely on your melee damage there because you have low intelligence this means low spell penetration after all so uh, go for the tips i gave you and you'll be happy with the lord of course there are, are more uh, opportunities and more possibilities to build a good lord could make a casting lord but this is like the most standard and reliable optimized build and i wish you much fun with your lord Happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Ken, signing out.